Hello and welcome to Military Mayday, where we're pointing out a few pieces on the chessboard. Check something here, okay. I've got a pretty couple decent sized little pieces here we're going to take a look at. These are more weapons deliveries from Russia. Let's get into it. Russia delivers two divisions of S-300 air defense systems to Tajikistan. Here is Tajikistan, right there. Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan. So right there is where there's Afghanistan, Pakistan. All the standees are in there. Mongolia, Tibet. So you know where she's at now. Anyway, we'll zoom out a little bit. There she is. OMG. Okay, let's continue. Whoopsie. As reported on Russian social media on, on November 24, 2023, Russia supplied to Jakistan with two divisions of S-300 anti-aircraft missile systems. This action is part of an ongoing effort to establish a unified air defense system among the member countries of the Collective Security Treaty Organization. There's a few of them. A standard Russian division of the S-300 air defense system typically comprises of 12 mobile defense launchers. 12 and two divisions, so there's 24. This disclosure came during a meeting between Russian President Vladimir Putin and members of the Cabinet of Ministers, where he emphasized the need to complete the necessary procedures for deploying these systems to Jachakistan by the end of the year. President Putin conveyed that two divisions of the S-300 air defense systems comprising eight launchers have been delivered to Tajikistan. He expressed his readiness to continue and finalize this effort with the CSTO framework, stressing the importance of the government issuing a corresponding order by the end of the year. The establishment of a unified air defense system covering all CSTO, CSTOs country is a Key focus on the upcoming CSTO summit scheduled for Thursday, November 23rd, 2023, in Minsk. President Putin expressed commitment, contentment, contentment with the pros progress made, noting that discussions on security issues, including the establishment of the CSTO air defense system, formed a vital part of recent negotiations with the Jakistan's president, whoever, during his Moscow visit. The S-300 anti-aircraft missile system recognized for its capability to defend critical states, uh, facilities, and armed forces is designed to c counter various airborne threats. These include modern and advanced aircraft, strategic cruise missiles, tactical and operational tactical ballistic missiles, as well as other aerial systems. The systems capable span the entire range of speeds of their combat use even when faced with intense, active, and Passive interference. A standard Russian division 12 mobile. Blah, 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 blah. The S 300, known as the SA 10 Grumble in NATO terminology, is a long range surface to air missile system developed and manufactured by the Russian company Almaz Anti, initially introduced into Russia in 1979. The S-300 has been deployed to various countries worldwide, including all these countries, despite no longer being in production. The system demonstrates versatility through various adaptations to meet specific operational requirements. It includes the S-300F, the V, P, P, M, U. There's a bunch of them. Each variant offers distinct capabilities and range tailored to the specific needs of the user. The core components of the S-300P system is the missile launcher unit featuring a trailer carrying four missile silos. A missile employed in the S-300P is the V-500 a first-generation missile equipped with a single-stage solid rocket motor stored and launched from sealed cylindrical launch tubes that were canisters. The missile incorporates solid-state electronics in its guidance system. With a maximum effective engagement range of 47 kilometers, it is capable of engaging targets in altitudes ranging from 100 to 30,000 meters. While the cost of the S-300 missile system can vary on the factors, 
in customization. The average basic unit estimated is from 150 million to 300 million. It's crucial to note this estimation does not encompass expenses related to personal training, transportation, maintenance. <laughs> Cost of the single S three hundred missile is reported around two million. Oof, that's expensive war, baby. Expensive war. I got another story here we're gonna get to, but uh, before that, like the video, subscribe to the channel, help me out a little bit. I think I've got twenty six or twenty seven subscribers now. It's kind of cool. Um. I've got a new headset coming. I'm hopefully going to get it on Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm not sure which one, but hopefully I'll have a little better sound. And uh, maybe I'll get you to actually like the video for once. Anyway, anywho, we're going to go through this one. Russia sends military reinforcements to Syrian reg regime. Iran-backed militias in al Hasaka, northeastern Syria. I think these two stories I'm doing here, you probably you might hear more about in another couple of days kind of noticed that but on november 24 23 the syrian opposition affiliated website euphrates post and the assad regime russia has sent military enforcements to their positions according to the report a russian plane loaded with weapons ammunition and logistics equipment landed in the qualamish whatever airport near turkish border coming to the russian air base in the syrian coast southeast of lakadia the load was transferred to the Syrian regime's Tartab Regiment, a.k.a. the 54th Regiment, which consists of regime Hezbollah and Russian forces located Hezbollah. Yeah, that's misspelled, or that's another terrorist group. The Russian forces located near the Zunaud neighborhood in southern whatever. A Russian helicopter transferred some of the weapons and ammunition boxes to the city of Madan east of Raqqa and the al Takib airport west, west of Raqqa to be distributed to the Russian militias in al Rasufa and the Syrian regiment's 93rd Brigade in the Ain Isa. So they're arming up these uh, terrorist-backed uh, yeah, terrorist countries that back the terrorists and basically use them as a proxy. In other words, Russia is using them as their proxies. And that's how war is going to go. That's how it's going to go till probably sometime at the end of next year. The report added that an additional Russian plane loaded with weapons belongs to the Iran Revolutionary Guard arrived at the Quad airport. The load was received by Iranian Iranian militias before transferring the Tartar Regiment to the Livestock Center. Livestock Center, which constitutes the headquarters and weapons depot of Iran-backed militias, is located between Tartab Regiment headquarters and the Kwamishila Airport. <laughs> the repeat note: the report noted that the Al Qaeda governorate has recently seen an uptick in tense tensions between forces of the U.S.-led coalition against the Islamic State (ISIS) and Iran and Russia-backed militia. And Iran-backed groups have repeatedly attacked U.S. bases in eastern Syria. On November 9th, Syrian opposition affiliated resources, so an Iranian plane had landed in Syria's air base to deliver unidentified cargo, which was then transported to an unknown location via Russian vehicles. An October 2nd report of the Kuwait Daily al Jarid claimed that Russia and Iran agreed to Hezbollah would transfer its old equipment to Arab tribes in eastern Syria to Russia in exchange for Russian assistance in transferring advanced Iranian weaponry to Hezbollah via Syria. Well, that was a mouthful there. Okay, guys. They're arming up and building up their little proxies that they've had for a while. So like I said, we're going to slow roast. Into next year, they'll look for something. Probably a tactical, small tactical yield nuke. Maybe the States, but most likely Germany, somewhere around there. Anyway, like and subscribe. Toodaloo.